friends, it's Lindsay. I hope you're having a happy day so far. Today I'm going to be showing you ways that you can create that coffee shop vibe that we've all been missing so much in your own home. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So first things first, music. I like to use this cozy coffee house playlist. The overhead lights in homes tend to be pretty harsh, so we're going to go ahead and turn those off and turn on any lamps or anything with that warm glow. Open those blinds, let that natural light in. Light that fireplace, make it extra cozy. Now, for the important stuff, coffee. So here I'm just grinding some coffee beans for a pour over. I strongly encourage you to get coffee beans or at least freshly ground coffee. It just makes so much of a difference. I pre-wet my filter, you can see that there. And then I take my hot, not boiling water, let it boil and let it sit for about 30 seconds. You don't want to scald your coffee. Make a quality cup of coffee. Very important. So for the next thing, you need to make sure that your workspace is clean, clear of clutter. So I'd suggest just clearing off an entire table and wiping it down clean, neat space to work. Something else that I like to do is have on this coffee shop background noise playlist in addition to the one I mentioned earlier, the actual music. And something about it really just increases my productivity. There have actually been studies done that show that the background noise in coffee shops helps with creativity and productivity as well. If you're the type of person that goes for the comfy seating in a coffee shop, then do the same in your own home. Now this is a matter of personal preference, but I like when coffee shops are cold, so I turn down the thermostat a couple degrees so I can cozy up in my cardigan. If you really want to go the extra mile in making your home look and smell like a coffee shop, you can bake some cookies or some pumpkin bread, or whatever your heart desires. And what kind of coffee shop would it be if it didn't smell like fresh ground heaven, as my little sign said. So I just made a shot of espresso, and I'll try to link our espresso machine, coffee grinder, and that little sign down below if I can find them. The next thing is to use those dishes that you only get out when company comes, or never get out. You know the ones I'm talking about. It's a simple little touch that can make a big difference. Something else is to just bring a couple things to the table. Don't bring all of the work that you need to accomplish. Most of us, when you go to a coffee shop, just bring a couple things. So do that, and then you'll be more likely to focus on what's in front of you, and hopefully be more productive. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite tip was. And as always, have a happy day.